Hi, I'm Patrick Billings, and today we're putting the spotlight on Whistler's CR88 radar laser detector. There's the unit itself, the mounting bracket, power cable for hardwiring, power cable for plugging into the 12 volt accessory port, the non-slip dash pad that can be used instead of the mounting bracket, and the user guide. The Whistler CR88 includes two new features. First, it's bilingual, so it can be set up to show text as well as speak in either English or Spanish. And second, it has FDSR. FDSR helps reduce false alerts from blind spot and collision avoidance systems found on new cars. This unit also has TFSR, which eliminates alerts from specific traffic flow sensors. There are a lot of menu options and the instructions show the default settings for each. But let's review the language setting, FDSR and TFSR. This is what the voice option looks like on the radar unit itself. The default is English. Let's change to Spanish. Many collision avoidance systems found in new cars use radar that's on the same band as police radar. Turning FDSR on means the unit will provide a brief, less intrusive alert. Traffic flow systems use radar signals to measure traffic density and movement, so turning TFSR on helps filter out those false signals. Well that's it, radar laser detectors are legal in all states when used in cars and light trucks weighing less than 10,000 pounds. The exceptions are Virginia and Washington, D.C., which do have restrictions. With radar detector units like the Whistler CR-88, road trips can be a lot more safe. Hi, I'm Patrick Billings, and today we're putting the spotlight on Whistler's CR-88.